Ladies and boys, gentlemen and girls, Cons of Tarkir Draft. I'll be your host. A one swarm of blood flies. It's like the only card worth taking in here. See, there has. You liked my link and did I did. I liked your post. I liked your post because I appreciated your passion about it. It had nothing to do with the content. It had nothing to do with the video itself. It had to do with your passion for the post for the for the trailer. I was glad that you felt excitement about it. So I was like, yes, I will like this thing that you have expressed excitement about. Bringalo? Yeah, we'll take the Bringalo. Wow. I thought that was a nice gesture. You can get you can get mad at that. That's unbelievable. <sighs> well, I'm passionate about the thing I have to add to my body. Well, what does that mean? The onion? Ha <laughs> ha! Or the peach, rather? Ah. <laughs> um. No, I get it. I get what you're saying there. Oh, Avalanche Tusker is nice. Yeah, we're gonna we're teamering up, boys. Hopefully, Savage Punts or Burnaway comes back. The odds are low that either will come back, but I'm not gonna pass an Avalanche Tusker. So, Dragon Grip. Oh, I'm a big Snowhorn Rider fan. I think this is one of the better Morves. The better five mana morphs. I think it's this guy. Actually, Abzan Lifelinker is great too. Oh, another one? Okay. Also, Rough Rider. But these guys are not Rough Riders. It's either Rugged Highlands or Snowhorn Rider. Feet of Resistance is a bomb. I'll take the Rider. So we're going to go one, two, three. I'm going to put you here, put you here, and that's perfect. It doesn't even look like an onion. It doesn't. I just that's not what I meant. I was just uh, I that wasn't I wasn't trying to imply that it does. It was just a slip of the But what if it does look like an onion? That's like, that's really a question we gotta ask ourselves. What if it does look like an onion? A slip of the old brain thing, that's what I always say. Whatever that means. Let's go, pack five. Look alive, pack five. We got blown out by this the other day. I'm not generally a fan of it, but it could be very good in certain situations. Maybe we just give it a shot here. And then our opponents can be like, you just blinding sprayed me? And I'll be like, yeah, buddy. Bloodstained Mire. Nope, that ain't what we're looking for. I guess it's just Highland game. Skaldkin, I don't care about. It's just too mana intensive. I'd rather have a two drop. I'd rather have another two drop. I'm two dropping it up. Yikes, onion butt. <laughs> is that your is that your uh is that your rapper name? They they call you old Y O B. Oh what up, Yikes Onion Butt? cards are what we're looking crippling chill is actually very good surprisingly enough uh dragon scale boon also solid i like swift kick but i think dragon scale boon is like literally one of the blowout cards like it's weird it's weirdly blowoutable because not only is it a combat trick like the counter stays so now you have to deal with that big ass creature and then ooh, this guy's fine and then what else you have to do is it untaps so you can't even prepare for that you can't even prepare for it you have no idea what's happening. I'm gonna take a cancel. Yeah, I'd like some of these lands. Undrum Tuna Jr., otherwise known as Undrum Tuna, AKA Yikes Onion Butt. 
It's like older DB. It's like ODB, but it's YOB instead. Okay, the dinosaur deck is done. Did you send it over? Send it on over. Ba -do -do. I'll have to play on like Wednesday, I guess. Maybe Thursday. Rob is here on Thursday, which could be better. Swiftwater Cliffs, Arrowstorm, Hordling Outburst. Warden, I like a lot. I kind of want fixing here, I'll be honest with you. Arrowstorm is great, but... So is being able to cast my spells. Dig through time? Oh, that's gas. If one of these wardens comes back, I'll probably try and splash it. Oh man, dig through time OP. Mystic's great, but we already have three morphs. And it's pretty early, so I'm not like. I like Mystic because Mystic Monster because it does actually help us splash the future. The future potential wardens if they do come back. Or a weapon smithy free, also fine. Savage Punch is great. I like Sultai Flare a lot, though. Yeah, I'm going to take the Sultai Flare. Four life in this form, it's really good, especially if you can get it with more than one guy. It is now sent. I'm checking right now. Nothing yet. I got it. Got it. No, 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 nailed it. Hey, Hootie Mandrels is great. Um, I think the uncommons that you can get a little... I mean, he's... The thing is, Hootie Mandrels is just mostly a 4-4 four, four for first six, right? You're going you're gonna to pay less for him. So it's usually between three and six mana. But, like, it's just replaceable with a lot of other cards, like Snowhorn Rider. Even, like, Glacial Stalker is just... Does a good Snowhorn... Does a good... Uh, not Snowhorn, but... Uh, a good Hootie Mandrel impression. I'm just going to take Swiftwater Cliffs. I want the mana. Like, funny thing, we could just play Valley Bash, or we could play the second Crippling Chill, which I'm not super opposed to, actually. Yeah, Mandrels is better when you have a bunch of things that are going to go to the graveyard. So Willy Loxodon is actually great. We already have two Snowhorn Riders, which are pretty big guys. I do like Mystic of the Hidden Way. It's just a nice way to... Oh, Secret Plans? When we have Snowhorn, Snowhorn, Glacial, Mystic... I actually like that a lot. That's This is nice. This is early enough to pick it up and actually have it do something. Do we want a third Snowhorn Rider or first Willy Loxodon? I think we want a Willy Loxodon. Yeah, Secret Plans is insane. It makes your all your morbs better than their morbs. Warden came back, and we have the, monast the Mystic Monastery to splash it if we want to. We don't have many spells, though. We have double... Actually, double cri Crippling Chill is... And Blinding Spray and Bring Low and Dragon Scout. Yeah, actually, we're, we're pretty decent on spells. I've been making a slow cooker soup while at work, and oh man, I just walked into the house and it smells... I am making Crock-Pot tacos, actually. So, we're both making... We're both Crock-Pot buddies today. I do like another Warden. Just double Warden? Sure. Would you take a look at a Sunny D theme shirt? I, yes, I will. Jiminy Boz, definitely post that bad boy. How could I not? How could I not take a look at that? What's in my crock pot? Uh, chicken. I cut up some chipotles and adobo. Uh, 
chili powder, salt, pepper, some salsa, and garlic. And then I just shred it. I shred the chicken towards the end and it gets real, it gets real tendy. I kind of like Tranquil Cove just because we have a double warden. I also like Flooded Strand. I think I might like it a little better, but then we need a Plains and I'm not really feeling a Plains. Force Away is also good. Yeah, I could just take another Bring Low. Actually, Bring Low is not bad. I like Bring Low. So we're going to try... Actually, Winter Flame is great. It's probably Winter Flame. Yeah, we'll take the Winter Flame. <sighs> Thorn of Falls? Yeah, I'm going to Thorn of Falls here. We're not going to take Treasure Cruise because we already dig through time. I don't want to be delving that much, especially when I have two cards that require us to have the cards in the graveyard. Could also take Jeskai Elder. I think I'd rather have the Fixing. We have no green Fixing as of now. Dang, wow, that's brutal. A Crackling Doom and another Armam Armament Core? That's rough. Just going to take Tranquil Cove here. Oh, wow! Savage Knuckleblade and Bear's Companion in the same pack? Jeez. I think we're just taking Knuckleblade here. I don't think it's particularly close. I mean, Bear's Companion is fantastic, and I can only hope it comes back, but... That's nuts. That's Nux. I mean, we could take a free Weapon Master. It goes great with Secret Plans, and we could potentially flip it with, with our White Sources. It's either that or just taking Long Shot Squad, which is actually fine. I think it's Long Shot Squad. I don't want to... I just want to make sure we have playables. Could just take another Highland game. If these are only two drops, I'm actually fine with that. It's a lot of extra life, especially with Saltai Flare. I do like having a Disdainful Stroke. Uh, chills does look worse, but we have Warden of the... I, I don't think... You don't use Chill on three is the problem. Like, you use Chill on, like, six to tap down their guy. Like, Chill is not a three drop. It just costs three mana. This does not look like a Stoneforge Mystic deck. You're right. Look, there's a Hooting Mandrels and a Snowhorn Rider. I'm almost on Snowhorn Rider because we have secret plans. I think I am on Snowhorn Rider. We are getting we're getting Morphe here. I'm gonna take the second bring low. Uh, do we have a barrage yet? No. Swift kick's also good. Uh or singing bell. All three of these are definite options. I'm going to take the Barrage. I think it's just, it's good against certain decks. Smoke Teller is actually a fine two drop. And we get a Singing Bell Strike anyway. Tormenting Voice is fine. I also feel like I almost bought Stoneforge Mystics over the weekend. I was like, you know what? What if these got unbanned at some point? I might as well just pick them up. And now I feel real dumb about it. got the Summit Prowler because it's the only double red card in the deck. It also doesn't trigger Sultai Flare, so I don't really care. Maybe we cut one Warden. Sort by converted mana cost. Take out one Warden. Then we have Mystic, Rider. All of these are three drops, essentially. Sell them now or sell them in like a week? Yeah, that's the question. That is the question. That's the Christian. The Christian. I got nothing here. One cut. We can probably cut one crippling chill, actually. 
This deck looks sweet. Okay, let's sort by color. Colares. A lot of green. One and four, huh? Nope, not like that. We only have one re one white card, so I'm really not gonna. I don't think we need to play, so we have two white sources here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna seven for now. Five, six, three, four, five, six. This is six, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Definitely want another one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, three, four, five, six. This is seven, six, six. I think that's probably correct. There's a million people watching Wild Classic right now. That's crazy. Oh, wait, we get two more lands? Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Feeling good about that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Dang. So we can just have seven, seven, seven. That actually seems good. That's crazy. Our main base is real good. I will keep this hand and hope we draw a blue. Yeah, I don't think Stoneforge is going to stay at 65. Ooh, a Mardu hate blade without the without the hate all right we need double blue and white <laughs> come on we can do it searching for swords seems good oh it does seem good oh dang it my freaking keyboard is shocking me still what do you get here Unyielding Krumar, Witness of the Ages. None of these cards are that great. These are all pretty pretty subpar. Why is this uncommon? This is a weird uncommon. Because like all of the individual morphs are just better than this. Like oh, they all flip for five. Like this is just a worse Abzan Lifelinker. It's a worse Snow Snowhorn Rider. Speak of the devil. Actually, I'm pretty sure we just bring low this guy and attack for a million. What do they put in their hand? Uh, puts Unyielding Krumar and Swamp into their grave. So they actually kept a witness. Okay. So they were like, can I get a witness? And then Magic was like, sure, that's one of your options. That does not sound good unless you... That is correct. I, I would agree that it is bad. 
I have an electrician coming tomorrow between 1 and 5. So, hopefully we can remedy this, this electrical problem. Throttle that guy. Okay. Well. Blue mana would be fantastic. You think that's a witness of the ages? Hard to say. That's not a land we're looking for. Blue, double blue, 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 blue. Fantastic. I feel like these guys just aren't worth trading. <laughs> so. I can work out how to send the picture in Twitch, so I've emailed it to you, but I'm not sure it'll show. Oh, uh, hold on. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. All right, I got it. <laughs> okay, so this is the uh, this is the image here. Sunny D, gonna burn your throat. That's it's pretty good. I would wear this shirt. I love this. I love this picture of me here. I look so regal. I look like a dictator here. Man, that is that is hot. That is hot. I want ten. <laughs> I feel like you don't need 10. That's a little excessive, but I appreciate I appreciate your enthusiasm. What do you trade? Smoke teller for Highland game? That's a good deal. Jiminy Boz, can you send me the can you send me the file for that? Like the Photoshop file? So I could tweak it and add it to like any sort of store that I want to open like if I if I start selling merch that'd be sick oh my god god I remember having I remember I, I thought at one point I had blue lands in my deck this is just witness right so yeah all right well Jiminy, how did you make it? Did you make it in Photoshop? Because I mean, like, the Photoshop file itself, like the PSD. Or whatever, like... Whatever file you have that has, like, the text on there so I can edit the text, like... Something, like, higher res than, like, the JPEG. Or something, like, that I can actually work with. Do you have, the, do you have that? Because that would be sick. Because I legit like this, and I think it's hilarious. Oh my god, come on, dude. This is ridiculous. Sunny day, it'll burn you through. I need a milk of the puppy shirt. <laughs> oh man, it could be a picture of me holding a bottle and it could say like, Frank Lepore's old timey milk of the puppy. You know, if we get to a point where we can actually flip these guys. Yeah. You know what? Get rid of Winter Flame, I guess. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. I mean, thankfully this guy can't attack, but... So I made it in Word. That's hilarious. I wouldn't... Don't... Yeah, don't even worry about that, man. What is even happening? Why are the Rough Rider and Anna Fenza and we're just like, well, I wish I could get a blue source on turn 10. Do I really trade two of these guys for this guy? Like, I feel so bad.
can't. We're just done. I can't compete with this bullshit. Like, rare, rare. And, like, we're just sitting here with, like, no no blue sources. Like, this is ridiculous. Well, that was a fair and interactive game of Magic the Gathering. The deck is good. I don't really have any issues with it, but... You know, I'm just worried about it burning my throat is all, I guess. Like Sunny D. Can I get just one island, please? Deck, did you say a blue card? Here you go. Yeah, that's literally what happened. Li it's literally, it's literally what happened. Or the bubbles in Coke, Coca-Cola? What does that mean? What are you saying right now, Court? Is a fine trade. They didn't want to take it. They're like, no, I'm gonna attack with my Mardu Hate Blade so I can play my Mardu Horde Chief. Here we go. Oh, not Scully boy. Do I have Philip? I got it. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Beautiful. Um. Yeah, I can just, I'll get rid of a red here. If I have any ideas, I'll mock them up. That sounds fantastic. I'm loving it. Like McDonald's over here. You get it? Because that's their slogan. Their slogan is, I'm loving it. So I said, I'm loving it. And it was like I was, it was like I was doing a McDonald's, little McDonald's beeb. Did you guys like that? Please do that Milk of the Puppy shirt. <laughs> Oh, man. It could be like the, one of those old-timey shirts that's like, Frank's old-timey milk of the puppy. Get yours today. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Let's do it. This is the biggest Highland game you've ever seen. I'll block this guy because he's deadly. You're not going to be death-touching ever again, buddy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't have dug through time this turn anyway, so... Yeah, I never thought I'd see the day where I saw these many blue lands. Is Milk of the Puppy a command? Milk of the Puppy. Is it Milk of Puppy, maybe? Maybe they're not commands. I don't know. I just work here. Milk Puppy, maybe? Could just be Milk, actually. Puppy milk? <laughs> M-I-L-K. I bet you do have the clip somewhere. I don't know why it's not a command. It should definitely be a command. I'd like to get all these good memes that only make sense in the stream and be like, hey, this is what they are, just so you guys know. Why cringe face? Milk of the puppy ain't noise pollution. It makes it easier for me to fit in. That feels incorrect. That feels like the opposite of the truth. You might even go so far as to say it's a lie. Is this like not all the way over? Why aren't you all the way over? There we go. Oh, yes. That's it. That's it. Freezing control. Yeah, this again? This old chestnut again? Sure. Uh, add com. 
milk of the puppy. All right, there we go. Now it's been added. A command has been added. Just those two, huh? Yeah, I'll take four. What do you get with milk of the puppy? I don't know, but I'm going to attack with all my guys. What do you think of that? I guess they could just block one dude with both of these dudes. Which forces us to flip. Reminds me of that mirror scene in Army of Darkness for some reason. Really? I wonder why. It's gonna block both. Oh. I see. I'm a fan. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. I don't know. It's whatever. Um. Yes, fine. Yes, yes, fine. Oompa loompa doompa dee doo. You have some morphs that I'm going to plow through. What do you get? I mean, they only have six damage to split between the two guys. Alexa, what are my notifications? We'll do four and two. Sure. Do I have to kill both of these guys? That's weird that I have to like distribute my damage equally across this guy. That feels weird. I mean, I still think we're in good shape here. We got to keep a Willy Loxon on and they got a Mardu Skull Hunter, but I feel like we should have been able to kill all these guys. Alexa, thank you. She's so friendly. Aggressive. B. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Oh, this is nice. It's nice. Let's get in there with this guy. Sure. Sure. Main phase. <laughs> this is what dying feels like. This is what it feels like when Frank dies. You make this guy an old block? This is rough. I mean, like, if we don't flip here, we can actually dig through time, which I think is great. They have three cards in hand. This card's very good. <laughs> Bless you, Frank. Unfortunately, she's not that polite. going on here something else you have a second one of these that might be the game let's hold up hold up can you do a backflip sitting down I actually I used to be able to it's a lot harder nowadays you know because I'm old I'm less agile than I used to be. 
Okay. Not not very aggressive. Let's end the turn. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Digging through time. Doot, 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 doot. Actually, Blinding Spreaching is broken. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have three left over, so we can actually play like. Oh, God. I like Avalanche Tusker a lot, though. So we definitely want to have a guy here. And then one of these is unable to block. They'll probably make this guy able to block. We can go block, 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 double block here, take nothing. Yeah, we definitely want one of these two. Um, so when we have five, I think it's Mystic and Blinding Spray. Wow, this is funny if Blinding Spray ends up being like... That's, that might be better. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. The The Rough Rider is really a uh, Rough Rider. That's how Rough Riders roll. Mystic is a better use of mana, and considering the Highland game isn't going to die here, I'm not sure if it was better, but maybe. Maybe. They have one card in hand, so I don't feel terrible about that. Okay, no attacks. Well, we're definitely flipping this guy up now, so. Oof. Oof. Thank you. Swifty Gamer, Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. We're going to six here? Let's play another one of you. Okay, and keep a blinding spray, so. I mean, the problem with attacking with two guys is they can just double block. With one guy. And then we're still losing a guy, but we're getting no damage through. Unless this guy kills it and then the, the five tramples over. I actually have no idea how that works. <laughs> I mean, I'd be worried about Counterspell if they had any blue mana, but they do not, so. I mean, we can also just flip this guy up. But that seems worse. Like, I just don't want to take an extra five and go to one. Which would, which would be a total of three because of the Highland game dying. But if they have any pump spell, like... It's not really a risk I'm happy about taking. Deals five to a creature with a counter, so it's a three-six. Deals three to a creature without a counter, that's a four-four. Okay. Let's get another life. We can go one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we got a lot of mana here, so... Yeah, we're just going to get in there. What do we want to kill here? Probably this gator. Go, 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 gator. Sure. Put the gator in the front. Hit OK. Flip this guy. Because there's no way I'm losing this guy. Four and one, sure. Is this game, what game is, what match is this? What's going on? My round one. I'm hella afraid of gators. 
Just have a fear since I live on the river. One will pop out and be in my yard one day. Yeah, but they're friendly. They have a, they have good personalities. Death frenzy just kills this guy, and you gain a life. Sure. No, you're dead, right? Oh, you can block, block, but I mean, you still take five from the trample, right? They are the perfect. They are the perfect killing machine. Alligators are insane. One trying to attack my dog the other day. Not friendly. That sounds unfriendly. I agree with you. You know. You know what, Bob? You know what I think about that? Not great, Bob. Yes. They. They are. They're on the list of things not to fuck with. That's true. I remember that Wu-Tang Clan song, Alligators Ain't Nothing to Fuck With. Mama said gators are so ornery because they have all them teeth and no toothbrush to brush them. That's... It's not wrong. I'm gonna keep this hand. We're on the draw. It's got all the colors and all the lands I could ever ask for. Lemurs? Lemurs are on the list of things you don't mess with? That seems strange. Remember when I, I do remember when you got bit by a lemur, actually. <laughs> I mean, that's like... But, like, if one person punches you in the face, right? I'm not gonna, like, oh, I don't mess with people anymore because one of them punched... Like, you gotta... I don't know. I like, I like respecting the fact that animals have different personalities and things. No, Colonel Sanders, you're wrong. What is that from? The water boy? <laughs> oh god. Why didn't I know that? I think the water boy is one of the Adam Sandler movies I'm least familiar with. Foxy boy. We're gonna hold this guy back. I don't feel like taking... I guess we could have done it. Wow. I Yeah, that is saying something. Because I think Billy Madison and, and Adam... And uh, Happy Gilmore are infinitely quotable. Insanely quotable. I'm Bobby Boucher, the w -w water boy. Yeah, this is an easy block. See if you got any tricks. Like Highland Game does something when it dies. It has less toughness than Smoke Teller, and Smoke Teller has an actively good ability. They can't use it because they have no blue. But nonetheless, like I'm trading my two one and for their two two, and I gain two life out of it. Like that's great. I'm I'm so game for that. I'm on board. Are you listening? Attack for this guy. Are you blocking? I didn't think so. I'll flip him right now. Walking in a winter wonderland. I don't think Smoke Teller is unplayable by any means. I think it's a fine two drop in this format. In the winter we can build a Smoke Teller. Oh, 
What can they have here? I don't actually know. Uh-oh. Oh, are they gonna dragon are they gonna do dragon scuffle on this and then we're just gonna crippling chill it? Now they're gonna throttle my guy? Buddy, you should have blocked first. That would have been great if they blocked. Oh man, we would have got blown out. That was solid. You done messed up, AA Ron! Oh, they're gonna savage punch? No, they can't. Can they? Yeah, they got they got ferocious. So, dang it! I'm so tired of these death friends. <laughs> Jesus, they just keep coming. How many snowhorn riders does this guy have? Well, uh, it's like 1700, Bert. Wow, this guy's getting real big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Unyielding Harold and Crewman. Like, you can't even double block here. Okay, well, he's drawing a lot of lands for all of his. He's for all of us in one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands to six spells. Not ideal. Let's get rid of this guy because he can get first strike. Alright, so Tusk Guard Captain is now a problem. In the winter, we can build a snowman. And I have no issue, like, just playing a bunch of lands because. This is a very mana intensive form. All right, chat, random question. What's the first movie you remember seeing? Not on TV. Oh, wow. I don't even remember. That's a, that's a crazy question. I actually have no memory of, like, my first movie theater movie. I think we're winning this game. The Mummy. Wow. I think we can actually alpha here, right? Like, this guy takes five, so, like, infinite's gonna trample over and they have no cards in hand. Yeah, let's just kill them. Are you listening? Attack with a hole. And I'm killing ya. Zoobity-doo. All of them are dead. You go to one life. Oh wait, because you gained one. Dang it, it's one away. That's unfortunate. Alright, don't draw removal, I guess. Okay, well you can only get a creature or a land, right? So... You could get this, but you don't have... He gets Rough Rider. Are you dead to this guy? What are we doing here? Nice. I bet I did see Jurassic Park in theaters. They're moving in herds. They do move in herds. Oh, the Monster Squad is great. Eh, I'll keep it. Not as good as the Monster Squid. That's true. Nothing can compete with Monster Squid. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't be another land. But here we are. Uh, 
<sighs> Joke's on you, buddy. I got nothing. I wish we had a spell in the graveyard, then I can get it back with my warden. Grim Haru Specs. I'm actually going to snap kill that right now. Plus it lets our warden uh, get better next turn. Because then we can just get back. Bring low a sweet chariot. Coming forth to carry me home. One, two, three, four, five. Baby, do you understand me now? I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Okay. We can actually play this as... We can play Secret Plans and play this. But then we just have a 2-3 and it doesn't. It only blocks this, so we're still taking 5. I think I'd just rather cast it face up. And then even if they kill it, we gain 4 from the Flare, which is pretty good. We're missing a, we're missing a card off of Secret Plans, but I think it's still fine. They, oh, Jesus. That's exhausting. Yep. I mean, we're all going at Soren here, right? Like, I just want to get rid of this Planeswalker. Maybe just bring low this guy. Makes their blocks pretty bad. Like, they're going to block here. Block here, block here, they keep it 2-3. If we kill this, though, their blocks are still not great. 2-3-4. Attack Soren with all of them. We're probably going to be like, well, I guess he's dead. I'm going to be like, alright. Like, they either lose all three of their guys, or like they just let him die. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We got a 4... We only have 10 damage on board, too, so. Nuck if you buck. So they go block the biggest guys. They take six. So we have to be able to block at least two of these guys. At least three of them. If we attack with these guys, we can go block here, tap this guy down, block here, take two. Feels risky. I think it's a risk we gotta take though. We're actually going to play this guy, because Knuckleblade, like, I'd rather have the surprise of being able to haste. Yeah, I was like, what does Knuck if you buck mean, guys? Yep, 
And we'll take two. I feel like you're dead with the knuckle blade. Oh, <laughs> two blockers, huh? That's good. That's not good. One, two. One, two, three. Four guys. That sucks. It sucks they actually don't have to kill any of our guys, and like they're. I feel like we messed up somewhere. They just let like a three drop through and then it's like, well, that's too bad. Yep, they go to one and we take two in the air. I mean, if we don't attack Soren aggressively, like they just plus Soren, all their guys get plus one, plus oh, they gain like six life. Like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe that, that might have been the turn, but like, it's, it's hard to say. I think, yeah. Like, even if we chose to flip this guy instead, like, I don't know. That was. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Yeah, I feel like them playing Soren is like put a 2 2 into play and fog the next turn, and it's like, well, that's pretty good. Not interested in trading my six seven for their two two. Man, face down you show me the way. Do you ever think anything that ever add another color to magic? No, I don't. It's just too much work. Like there's too much going on. Like you would have to like you have 20 years of magic cards and to add another color like it just wouldn't be able to compete with the other. Maybe I mean like it's possible just because like you would play it in standard first and then it would be equally represented. It's still hard to do because you'd have one set in standard with the new color and then like 20 sets without the, you know five sets without the new color in standard. So like you have to make sure there's enough cards that are actually worth it and like you look at a format like modern sure where like they have I guess we should have attacked first that would have been nice I guess yeah I mean when they when they defined colorless mana it was definitely a uh, 
sort of a step. Sunny day, it'll burn your throat. All right, let's get in there. Get busy blocking. Can't you see me blocking? Uh oh, feet of strength. Oh no. Um. Choose to tap you. Two damage to you. Why people are playing their tricks pre-blocks? I don't know. But I mean, this just means like we get a freebie here, so. And they take ten, and then we get to also play Smoke Teller, so. go to one here potentially lose their morph one four be two three six throttle sure I find it interesting they didn't just why didn't they throttle this guy so they could block whatever they wanted to then they could literally block this guy with the four four sure that's amazing <laughs> That's, a, that's insane. Well, that does not go to face, so. Caitlin with the clip, nicely done, nicely done. Hard cast. So you even risk like playing this guy face down? Yeah, I think so, just because of the makes it a two three instead of a three two. You didn't watch my other clip oh the herd one? Hold on, I'll watch it right now. They're moving in herds. They do move in herds. <laughs> God, it's so much weirder. Do they? They don't have a green source. Yeah, sure. I'll just jump block here. It's fine. Okay, they're dead. They have died. Whoppa! All right. Deck is barrage of boulders when they have double uh, ponyback brigades and Anok Bonkins. Like that seems good. Your three color? I don't know what that means. What are you saying right now? You're a wizard, Hattie. This hand's great. Turn two secret plans. OP. We do need a second blue source at some point, but I guess we'll, we'll get there. Morph? It wasn't a morph. This is the first time we've had turn two second plans, which is nice. Yeah, 
you know, that's less nice. Morph? Oh, no creatures. Heaven forbid I drew a fucking creature by turn four. <laughs> oh, Lord. Man, these, these drafts have not been going well for us recently. I mean, there's been definitely misplays on our side as well. So I'm not going to like... Yep. Seems good. Not for us, of course, but, you know, for somebody, I bet. Uh, we'll go to nine. Totally reasonable. Alabaster Kieran. That's amazing. That's actually incredible. Oh, Lord. Go to four. Even if we block here, we go to one, so... We'd have to draw a creature and ha I hope they have literally zero way to deal with it or no other thing to put to the board, so. No. <laughs> That's comically good here. Yeah, it's worse. Okay. Man, that's game. Cool. Never don't have that. So we are 0-2 right now? No, we're 1-2. All right, that's not bad. I thought we were, I thought we lost the first round for some reason. Yeah, that draw was just terrible, unfortunately. Like, I mean, the opening hand was fine. Uh, assuming we can draw one or two creatures by turn, like, fucking six, but I guess it's a lot to ask for, you know? Why don't you watch your language? Dummy. Got him. Oh, uh, we'll keep this hand. We need any lands, but... <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm okay with these colors. So if we can hit two lands in the next four turns. Keep stop. <laughs> yeah, man. You'll be okay. Spooked. <laughs> I just leave them all on. I don't like to I don't like to be like, "Oh, I lost this game because I accidentally forgot to I appreciate you. You get out of here, you old biscuit. Come on, one land. One land and we're doing it. We can cast all of the... Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so bad. I know, weird, I know. Communication and actual human interaction in Moto Chat. I'm like, mm, this is too much. Oh, I gotta get going. Shh. 
Stop shocking me. It's freaking keyboard, man. Okay, Alpine Grizzlos. It is Grizzlos. Um, all right. Well, both these guys are gonna die evenly, right? So maybe we just Winter Flame it. Could also bring it low. It creeps me out when this four minutes goes by and no one says anything in the chat, and I'm like, uh, guys? <laughs> uh, <laughs> everybody, please, are you still there? Let's see what this does. Disdainful stroke. No. Alright, that's fine. Hooting mandrels. Big hoots. Wow. Talk about calling it. Talk about calling it. One, two, three, four. Disdainful stroke now? They got a disdainful stroke. We know it. Come on. Come on. He's like, is this worth it? Force away, I see. We were never really here to begin with. Yeah, you know, I buy that. You know, that sounds about right. Okay, we can get back a bring low. Well, I kind of just want to play Highland game to block here. Tap and kill. Tap and kill and tap and kill. Tap and kill. Tap and kill. Actually, this could be terrifying. What up, Chris? When do you start that thing? Can I can I even say it? I don't want to like. I don't want to say the thing if it's not official or if I'm not allowed to. You post it on Facebook though, right? So. Scooty Love, what's going on, my dude? What is going on? Tell me what is going on. Do 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 do. Oh, what are you doing? You're flipping your something incremental growth. That's pretty good. I'm a little um, afraid of that. Let's do the two things. We'll tap this guy and we will probably kill this guy because we're going to take a lot of damage. Uh, so I guess we'll just go red, white. Oh dear. Watching you draft some cards while I also draft some cards. God, this is a cardception. This is going to be difficult to deal with. It's not a deer, it's an elk. Who do you think you are? Talking to me like that. Seven friggin' mana. Why do you cost so much? I also missed three more land drops. Like, I just want to hit land drops so I can play more than one thing a turn. God. Elf tears? <laughs> Highland elf? Ugh. I mean, we could block and bring low, but then we take seven. No. Block one, so we take six, seven, eight, nine. 
And then if they flip this, and it's like an abomination, it's like, it is literally an abomination at that point. I'm really afraid it's an abomination. I think I just want to kill it. It was a dragon's eye savant. That's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> Nifty Chris, your badge did change. That's funny. You went from one year to six months. Why? How did that happen? That's so weird. That was the most costly typo ever. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. We can only do one thing here, which is unfortunate. It might just be play this guy, get back Winter Flame. <sighs> Biscuits and gravy. Bisque, biscuits, and gravy. The question is, do we attack? I don't think so. Maybe. Probably not. So aggressive. Thank you. John Travolta, thank you so much for 37. Hey, great keep up the great work, Sunny D. It'll burn you through. Wow, that's the second time today someone has subbed and had Sunny D. It'll burn your throat as the message. That is some good branding on our part. Sunny D. It'll burn your throat. Yeah, that's the end. You guys need a shirt? Someone literally designed this and showed it to, to me earlier. So you tell me. <laughs> you tell me what you think. That's hilarious that you said that. I want to say that a $50 typo is the worst type of experience. So yeah, I've definitely repriced some cards by adding an extra zero and lost. Wow. That's rough, Christopher. All right, so Stainful Stroke seems like a winner here. Taken out. I'm gonna take a one Highland game, I guess. Play first. I did not want to mulligan that hand. I meant to hit keep, and my hand went too far over, and now I feel really bad. I think our opening hand was great. They went to six as well, so I guess I feel a little better, but not really. Wow, that opening hand was fantastic. They went to five. Mm, okay. I actually think we leave with Thorn of Falls uh, because if we draw any land, we can play Smoke Teller. 
Yeah, that was terrible. Sometimes I'm just like, you know what, man? These seven cards is actually too good. I don't want you to feel this way. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give you, give you a free mall. If you were to dedicate yourself to playing competitively in only one form, what would you choose? Uh, I assume you mean constructed format, but if you don't, I would definitely say draft. Yeah, this is too... Uh, if it's constructed, I would say modern. I think standard gets boring too quickly. Uh, it also... I feel like it gets solved too quickly. I mean, there's always room for, like, some tweaks, but usually you're just like, I swapped out this one card for this other card because the metagame shifted or whatever, but... Typically standard, like, after the first month or two of a new set, like, standard is like, okay, well, everyone's playing the same three decks. Um, whereas modern, I think there's a lot more room to finagle around. Um... And, like, Legacy is a format where it's, like, I think Legacy is great, but I really don't like that every deck has, like, not every deck, but, like, the, the format's really kept in check, like, in a not enjoyable way by, by cards like Wasteland. Like, it's so hard to play four drops in, in Legacy because, all right, well, this is the end, I guess. Do they whiff? Oh, they put a forest into their hand. Sure. Pre-War of the Spark and Modern Horizons, you can play almost anything to 3-2. I agree with that completely. I think Modern is a completely open format. I think there are dominant decks. Um, but I think there's also so many decks in Modern that, like, you don't actually come across the dominant decks that frequently. So. never playing a morph this game to invalidate the smoke tell advantage i'm like that's a good choice i support you land not a land having a good time having a good time playing magic and i'm having a good time is this another one two are we just one twoing for for the rest of our lives well that's just sad I didn't want to mulligan the first time. Dang it. Can I get a land? I just want a land. Do, 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 do. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just going to pass here. Um, Because if they play something big, I want to be able to disdainful stroke it. But also we have winter, Winter's Flame. Winterfell. I feel like we just take six here. If they play Hooting Mandrels, we really don't have a way to deal with it. So I, I want to be able to make sure we can deal with like a Hooting Mandrels or something. I have not seen the episode nine trailer yet. Undrum Tuna was giving me a hard time about that earlier. Biscuits. 
It looks so bad. I doubt it. People love shitting on Star Wars stuff, even though it looks fine. <sighs> Miss Four Land Drops, come on. Beer me, man. What's going on, my dude? Just frustrating. Like, we have a handful of, like, five drop, six drop, five drop, four drop, technically five drop, or three drop, and, like... What are you gonna do? I mean, this guy's never flipping, so I am mad at you. Land? No, not a land. <sighs> We're having a good time. I mean, it's hard to feel bad about losing matches like... I mean, it's 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 easy to feel bad about losing matches like this because you're not in control, but it's hard to, like, have it be a reflection of your... of the match itself, where I'm like, oh, man, I played a good game and then I just lost. I, you know, I misplayed a ton. Like, I mean, obviously we mulligan when we didn't want to mulligan, but, like... I don't know. I mean, I don't feel like this, this match came down to, like... I mean, whatever, this is magic. Magic happens. You're going to draw three lands on turn eight. <laughs> if you're going to miss five land drops and you're going to accidentally mulligan, I guess... So, I mean, it is what it is. Here comes a hooting mandrel. Dutiful return. Getting back two nerds. I mean, that's not super scary, but... Cutting, what's going on? I resisted burning my throat and can still talk. Well, sometimes you just gotta avoid that sunny day. Yeah, I'm game. I'll block you, boy. So we know you have a berry boy in hand. Oh, wow. A fourth land. Never thought I would have seen the day. I feel like it's just Snowhorn Rider. Like, I want to put more things on the board. Oh, one land away from both of these.
We knew about the grizzly. <laughs> oh boy! Yep, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. It's nice when I don't when I don't draw lands. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate all of you. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys don't want to spend the five dollars a month for Twitch Prime, which you or Twitch uh, to Twitch subscription, you definitely should. It's a great way to support the channel. But you can also go to patreoncom lapore and for one or two dollars a month, like whatever you can afford, um, it's a great way to support the channel. And it's just another way to, uh, you know, to not. I don't know. You know, slam the like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.